hole fall into the hole. Camera doesn't pick it up, but it's verdant, bright verdant green. You can see the gouge in the fault. This is the Camp Rock fault, and you can see that it continues all the way past up past this mountain Unfortunately, it looks like the whole shelf wants to come off. It's going to all fall into the hole. Nice. Look at that. Super solid. Is this the piece I threw over here? Not a whole lot. As you can see, there's a couple other pieces we already chipped out. But you can see just how deep and vivid the purple is for this amethyst. Show you in just a second. Are you getting that purple on camera? Yeah. I got a little bit of a shadow. There you go. It's super, super deep purple. Lenses of are purple, almost like nodules, but. They're in the uh, the foliated vein structure that's here. Here's another piece of just some some blueberry azurite, kind of. That's the closest thing I could compare it to. Wow, it's beautiful. But uh, this is where I'm kind of digging this uh, this amethyst stuff. That you can see it actually right there. Zoom 
if you could get your flash on, I don't know if you can. Get in here close, real close. So this is all purple right here. This is all purple. This is all purple. You catching that? Yeah? It kinda, it kinda looks blue. Well, you gotta zoom in more. It's the dark, the dark. It's almost black, but it's purple actually. Because the amethyst is so, uh... Yeah, you can so, see the purple. so vivid because it's never been exposed to sunlight. Yeah, you can see it purple. It's beautiful. So we're just gonna keep trying to remove this rock from around it. See if we can get some bigger pieces up. There's actually some amethyst down here too. It almost looks like terminated crystals down in that pocket. Do you see that? Wow. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you can see um the terminations in it, yeah. Yeah, it's very, very, very vivid purple. Wow. But if you want to pan out and you could kind of did you see that over here on the right? Right above it? Right above it? Yeah, there's more purple right above it. Somewhere here? Yep, literally right there. Okay. Let's see if I can point to right over here. Okay. Yeah, well, there's a ton of iron stains. So who knows? I mean, I, I'd like to kind of dig in this pocket here and see if we can get some cooler specimen pieces out. But I mean, you could see the purple all throughout. The whole bean there. But if you want to just pan out and kind of, you could see. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at all that. You can just see veins of deep blue and green. But. And then you can see right here, there's a 200 foot down shaft. <laughs> but there's another couple examples of kind of this real cool. Yeah, that is just beautiful. Chrysocolla. Azurite malachite. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice one. Let's get it wet real quick. Oh, yeah. You can see there's a whole little uh, edge right here of Betroidal Chrysocolla. Malachite, actually, that one, but it's just all over the place. This whole vein structure, and it's seeping out of the out of the veins all along all of these fissures. Sorry if I sound kind of muffled. I'm wearing a mask when I'm digging in this stuff because this is a. Uh, a known asbestos occurrence, so don't want to be too not cautious because it's never bad to be cautious. If you want to hear a sound, let's see. Let's see. Still falling. Just stopped. Let's throw a bigger piece, let's see. Still falling. 
and just came to a rest. Oh yeah, that's a nice that's a nice bug of of Betroidal chrysocolla. Pretty decent sized. But we're just on our adventure. <laughs> Another day. Beautiful out here.